Hello first graders. Today we are going to work on the on your own section for module 12.6. This can be found in your workbook on page 373. Let's go ahead and get started. For this first section, it says make a 10 to solve. Show your work. Number two, Karen counts 46 birds. Then she counts seven more birds. How many birds does she count? Let's go ahead and start with our 46. I will draw four groups of 10. One, two, three, four, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. She counts seven more birds. So I'm going to add seven more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count on from our six to make a group of 10. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We'll go ahead and put a circle around those. So now I have five groups of 10 and one, two, three ones to make 53. So my equation will be 46 plus seven equals 53. So all together, there are 53 birds. Let's take a look at number three. Pat has 44 oranges and nine grapefruits in a box. How many oranges and grapefruits does he have in the box? So we are looking for how many oranges and how many grapefruits all together in the box. Let's start with our oranges. I have 44. So one, two, three, four groups of 10 and one, two, three, four ones. I have nine grapefruits, or Pat has nine grapefruits. So we will add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Let's count on from our four to make a group of ten. So I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's circle them. Now I have five groups of 10 to make 50, and one, two, three ones to make a total of 53. So my equation will be 44 plus nine equals 53. So there are 53 oranges, and grapefruits. In the next section, it says, make a 10 to solve. Number four says three plus 29 equals blank. When I see the number 29, I know that if I add just one more, it will give me the number 30. So I'm going to borrow a one from the three, so that will become two, and this 29 will become a 30. Now I know that 30 plus two will give me 32. So three plus 29 is the same as two plus 30, and it gives me 32. Number five, blank equals 42 plus nine. Just like in number four, I see that I have a number nine. And if I add one more, that will give me 10. So I'm going to borrow from 42. This will become 41. And this will become 10. Next, what I can do is I can add them together. I'm going to add my ones. One plus zero equals one. Four plus one equals five. 
So 42 plus 9 is the same as 41 plus 10, and it will give me 51. Not all of them are going to be easy like these two, where we can just borrow one number from the other. So let's go ahead. I made a mini whiteboard here that we can go ahead and draw this out together. So we have 67 plus 7. So I'm going to start by drawing my 67. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm adding 7 more to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, we'll count on to make a group of 10. So I have 7, 8, 9, 10. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Well, then I counted that wrong. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I have 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 74. So 67 plus 7 equals 74. For number 7, I have a number 9 there. So we can go ahead and just borrow one from next door. So 17 will become 16, and our 9 will become a 10. So I will have 16 plus 10. I'm going to add my 1s together. 6 plus 0 will give me 6. 1 plus 1 will give me 2. So 9 plus 17, or 10 plus 16, equals 26. Let's try number 8 together. We'll go ahead and draw a picture for this one. So we have 58 plus 6. I will draw my 58. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we will add six more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count on to make a group of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eight plus two equals ten. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 64. So 58 plus 6 equals 64. Our last one on this side is 37 plus 8. Let's draw our three groups of 10. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Plus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. We'll count on to make our group of 10. So I have 7. 8, 9, 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 10, 20, 30, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So 37 plus 8 equals 45. 
Let's go ahead and turn to the next page. This is page 374. Make a 10 to solve. Show your work. Number 10. Harper sees 16 sea stars or starfish on the beach. Then she sees eight more. How many sea stars does Harper see? Here's our important words right here. Show your work. I'd like if you would draw a picture to show your work so that I can make sure that you're doing the work correctly. So she starts off by seeing 16. So that's one group of 10 and one, two, three, four, five, six ones. Then she sees eight more. So I'm going to add eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count on from six to make a group of ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six plus four equals ten. So that gives me two groups of ten plus one, two, three, four to make twenty-four. So our equation will look like sixteen plus eight equals twenty-four. So Harper sees twenty-four sea stars. Number eleven. Pia has 56 markers. Mary has nine markers. How many markers do Pia and Mary have? So what we are looking for is how many markers does Pia and Mary have all together? Let's start with Pia's 56. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mary has nine, so let's draw nine more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's count on from our six to make a group of ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six plus four equals ten. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of ten to make sixty, and one, two, three, four, five ones to make sixty-five. So altogether, the girls have sixty-five markers. Here we have an open-ended question. How did you make a ten to find the sum? Explain. So, we started off with six ones. So let's write, I started with six ones. Now there's two different ways that you can write this. You can write that you count it on, or you can write that you added. So whichever one you'd like to write, you can. I'm going to go ahead and write, I started with six ones. I added four ones to make one group of 10. Because like we figured out together, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 plus 1, 2, 3, 4 equals 10 and that gave us a new group of 10. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you need any more help or need some questions answered, please feel free to send me an email or message me on Dojo. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.